um, good afternoon to uh, ladies and gentlemen, to all those watching us on social media. We are here in the bush uh, at a place called Baumoro Police Station. If you know where Baumoro Police Station is, it's in, in, in Baumoro area, a farmland area after Makeni. Um, uh, we have finally located um, the PEP president, Mr. Sean Tembo. Uh, we've discovered that Mr. Sean Tembo has been detained at this police station that is in Baumoro area, area, very isolated from everywhere else. Mr. Sean Tembo is being investigated for a crime of uh, hate speech. <laughs> this is a fineable uh, offense where they can charge you 54 kwacha. And Mr. Sean Tembo has been held since yesterday. Police officers that are dealing with the matter uh, had stated that they would pick him up and uh, then they will you know, do the charge formalities and proceed to give him bond. But clearly, they are determined to ensure that he doesn't get police bond. They are determined that he spends his weekend here in Balmoro Police Station. The offence that Mr. Uh, Tembo is, is facing, like I said, it's a finable offence. If um, this isn't political persecution, Mr. Tembo will have been charged yesterday and released on police bond and the matter would then go to court for the police and the state to prove their case. But this is an injustice that we are all facing as members of the opposition, where we are being harassed, we are being persecuted, we are being arrested for flimsy or very funny charges, as in the case of uh, Honorable Sean Tembo. Uh, the conduct of the police again requires uh, that we make mention. First they pick him up, they lie to his family and his uh, lawyers that he'll be taken to Kawata Police Station and the family and the lawyers move to Kawata Police Station from service headquarters. And then they secretly bring him here where now we spent both the family his members and uh, his lawyers spent the whole afternoon and evening yesterday looking and combing the entire police for where Mr. Tembo is detained. And the police refused to disclose where he was detained. He was here. Remember in the night it's very cold and this is a farm area. He had no beddings, no nothing, no water, no food. From afternoon yesterday up to around uh, 9, 10, when um, when he was uh, picked up and you know when we identified where yes, he sir. was, thank you, Officer. Good good, good afternoon. Good afternoon. We don't allow capturing much animals or videos. No, no, no I'm not. Um, the, the police station is facing the other no, way. No, 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 no. We don't mm. allow. This is a previous premises. It's better either you do it somewhere that side. Oh, that's yes. why I'm not facing the police. Ah, no. What we are saying that mm. we are not allowing only the premise of the police. Maybe we treat it. It's better yeah. you do it somewhere else, not here. Ah, okay. No, move, yes. please move, move away from the police. We want to call some police why but we shouldn't broadcast from the police station. I had, uh, I had given the police some respect. I didn't uh, put uh, the police station in. Uh, Thank you very much. Oh no, we're outside the police station. We can show it. So the police were chasing me from the premises of the police. We are here at Balmoro Police Station where Mr. Sean Tembo is detained. Mr. Sean Tembo was picked up yesterday for the uh, offense of hate speech. They allege that you know he committed hate speech. If you look uh, under the criminal procedure code, hate speech is a finable offence, and uh, you can actually pay 54 kwacha. But the intention is not the crime. The intention is the punishment. The intention is this onslaught against the opposition. The onslaught to paralyze the opposition, to silence us. Just look how he was treated. Even a suspect does have rights. Mr. Tembo was picked up. His lawyers were lied to that Mr. Tembo would be detained at Kawata Police Station and they whisked him away here to Baumoro, right in the farms, away from McKenney, in the farms. And he spent a night here 
without his family knowing where he was, without his lawyers knowing where he was, without all of us members of the opposition knowing where Mr. Tembo was. And it's only the, around 10, 11 that we, we heard that he was here at Balmoral Police Station and I, I have since come here. I have met him. Um, uh, we always say he's in good spirit, but there's nothing good spirited about being detained, especially these matters that border on a law for detention. Tomorrow is a weekend. The police, you know, do not release people over the weekend. And looking at the time, clearly they want him to spend the weekend. Our appeal to the police is always to, not only to act humane, but to act within the law, within the constitution, within the rule of law. Don't abuse the law. Don't punish citizens because the law uh, perceives you as innocent before the law. There is no justification whatsoever to treat someone as if he's a convicted criminal. So yes, Mr. Tembo is in high spirit. Uh, I can't say that, but like I said, there's nothing high spirited about being detained. He's been looking forward all day to officers dealing with the matter. Uh, to come and uh, pick him up and charge him and probably then obtain bond. So for the supporters of Mr. Tembo, for colleagues in the opposition that are looking for Mr. Tembo, I have found him here at Baumoro Police Station. I have since spoken to him and I've seen him. Um, he, you know, he is very determined that the mistakes, the corruption, the the machinations currently being done under the government of President Akainde Ichilema should be exposed as a duty of the opposition. We should provide checks and balances. He will try to use the state institutions to silence us, to punish us, to cow fear into us so that we don't call him for the things that are occurring under this government. Look at the gold scandal. Today, the DPP has entered an ole against the Egyptians. These are the Egyptians that were kept at an executive lodge instead of being in police detention. Today, they've been given an ole and they'll be free to, to, to leave the country while the Zambians who are accused um, have, have remained in detention. One Zambian you know, has, has, has also been released. It's these injustices we are talking about. Umuntu fi umuntu fi yawe yawe ngai wa phone if you wake up at police station three months four months I wa fi phone. These people come with f over eleven million dollars. They conduct business at the international airport at the presidential pavilion. Look at the various crimes that have been committed. There are various weapons. There are various uh, guns and ammunition. And they are carrying a lot of cash. Then you enter in Nole. What sense is that? So this case has literally collapsed. Because for any matter to stand, two have to tango. So if these people have been released, how will they convict the, others, the other people? And we've called for them to release a CCTV to show what we've been alleging. And they will not. But look how they are treating Mr. Sean Tembo. Like a common criminal and he's been isolated, located away from his family, from his lawyers, and to a police station that is very, very far away from Lusaka. So uh, thank you very much for joining us. That was a short brief we're giving you about uh, the Patriots for Economic uh, uh, Emancipation. Uh, uh, Mr. Sean Tembo, the leader, has been uh, detained here at uh, Balmoral Police Station. So thank you very much for joining us. We'll speak to you later.